All right, Chicago golfers, I wanna share with you my favorite training aid that I purchased at the 2020 PGA Golf Show. I really believe if you use this training aid consistently, you can realistically lose four to five shots off your golf score. I really believe this training aid is, is that valuable. The best part about it is that you can use it in the comfort of your living room. So let me show you what I got. Let me help you out with your golf game. So here's my favorite training aid. It is called X-Pot. It's only two pieces. It's a small camera that comes on a stand. You can take the stand off and I just use double-sided tape and just put it right under my TV. So it's a camera and then it is a uh, golf mat. And this golf mat, it's soft, it rolls up. So you can set up a practice station at home with very little space. And the way this works, you simply connect the camera to the TV just using HDMI cord and a power outlet. So it's only two cords. So even the, the non-tech savvy uh, golfer can figure this out. And when we look at this screen right here, I'm going to go to the main menu. We have the option to practice, which is what I'm going to show you first. You could do challenges with, with putts on a golf course, and then you could do matches actually playing against people. So we're going to go to practice. What's cool about this, this putty training aid is that you can set the speed of the greens. You could do something slow, like six on the step meter, or you could go all the way down to 13 uh, and make the greens really fast. You could also hit putts with this. You could hit putts uh, you know, all the way up to, to 50 feet. So we got five, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 feet. And we have the option to do one distance and hit that putt over and over again, or we could select random, just random distances inside of 50 feet, or in this case, I'm gonna do increasing. So this is gonna start off at five feet, and it's gonna go five, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now, to, uh, to make this work, we have to place the ball right between these two dots on the mat. And what we'll see up here, this, will this is a hole, and it'll tell us our, our distance to the cup. And the mat is square, where it's just like a bowling alley, there's marks on it, where if you can see that, I accidentally put the putter in front of the camera and it, it, it read it as a putt. So something to be mindful of when you're using it, don't wave anything in front of the ball. But there's, there's dashes on the mat, and if you hit the ball straight, you will see the ball start off straight. If you hit it to the right, I mean, the ball will react according. So we have 10 feet right here. I'm hit a putt. And this is great for being able to build speed. So like that one right there, I hit a little too hard. I hit it straight, but it was too firm. It's going to 20 feet now. So what I found that's really helpful with a lot of golfers is keeping the same rhythm with a light grip pressure, almost feeling the weight of the putter head go back and forth, and simply increasing the length of the putting stroke as the distance gets longer. So we'll do 20 feet. Now, what's also nice about this unit, it gives you some putting stats. So here, uh, my putter says the path was to the left, so I slightly cut across that one. And then this will show us our, our start point. That ball started straight, essentially straight, zero, 0 0.6. So you can see your putter path, then we're going to 30 feet. So I'm going to make a slightly bigger putting stroke compared to 20. Get in there. Boom. So that last one was 31 feet. That was, that was a good one right there. Going to 40. I got two more putts, 40 and 50 feet. Ah, good pace on that one. And then 
we have 50 feet. So just a little farther back. Not trying to hit it super hard, letting the length of the stroke increase to help me get that extra distance. So where this is very valuable is, is helping you with your distance or your lag putting. It takes a few times of, of playing this game to be able to transition between five feet, 10 feet, 20 feet. Here's the five footer that I missed the first time, so it's small. And then you can see that one right there, that one in the hole. So when you get the feel for uh, the different length putts, when you go out to the golf course, you can pace your putts when you're on the green so you can mark your ball and you can walk to the flag and you're counting six, seven, eight, nine steps. Each step that you take is essentially three feet or a yard. So nine steps, we got, we got 27 feet. And if you're playing this, you're like, hey, uh, you know, that feels, that's something close to 30. You can look when you're outdoors, you're like, okay, this is uphill. So it's 27 feet, but it's uphill. I might play at like 32, maybe 34, 35 feet, depending how much hill you have. And then what you'll be able to do is connect the size of your putting stroke uh, to the distance that you need to make the ball go. So the other option that you have with X-Putt is the ability to go into play mode. So if we go over and play nine, you could play a match uh, either by yourself, like what I'm about to show you, or you could uh, do it with your buddies. And so you could enter the amount of players, you could adjust the green speed, and they have four golf courses on there right now. So we'll press start. When uh, the golf course loads, it's gonna give us some information on the screen. It's first gonna do a flyby. So this looks like a kind of a pretty straightforward putt right here. <clears throat> and on the, on the right hand side, it'll give us a little uh, topography. So uh, yellow means that it's uphill and blue means that it's downhill. So this one looks like it's going uh, from uphill to downhill. There's also a question mark that's on the mat. And if you tap that question mark, it'll give you a putt preview. So this one shows like it's going from left to right. So I could either adjust the aim by making this aim more left. And I'll do the putt preview one more time. And so I'm moving it left, so that way I could just hit a straight putt or I could just start the ball left. So here I've got 20 feet, it's slightly downhill left to right. So I'm gonna aim a little bit left because it's downhill, I'm only gonna play at like 10 feet. Might have hit that too hard. Let's see. All right, so I rolled that one six feet past. So I've got a tester for my two putt. There's also uh, like a graph on the screen and there's some lighting that shows that the uh, that's moving from right to left and it shows that this putt would break from right to left. So I'm tapping the mat for the, uh, for the putt preview, but it's, it's telling me that I'm too close. I can't use putt preview. So I'm gonna aim slightly right and I am hitting a six footer. Edge. So I just need to be uh, a little bit better with that first putt, better with that distance control. And then uh, it'll provide a scorecard. So uh, this, this training aid's really good for working on distance control. Do the practice mode and then go into play mode and, and challenge yourself. I think any kind of training aid that just gets the putter in your hands more often is, is good for your golf game. So what do I have here? I have 20 feet. I'll do the putt preview. And so when we look at it, putt preview, a little left to right, 20 feet. Let's see if I could get this one closer. Close. All right, so that one I had good speed. So uh, definitely check this out. I think you go to xputt.com and pick one up. Uh, fairly affordable. I want to say it's like $350 or $400. But for the technology and the convenience where you could set up a, a putting practice station and work on distance putts literally on a, a four-foot mat, I, that's pretty cool. So definitely check it out.